The Anatomy Lab, a poem dedicated to first year medical students. I never imagined that I would play with death, hold the rigidness of its rigor mortis, cradle the callousness of its coldness. When I stirred into the open mouth of our first patient, a cadaver, the body gifted, time froze. I was strapped in the moments before your death, wondering, were you in pain? Who was around you in your last moments? Whose tears did you behold as you left this world? Who did you worry about leaving? Begin the dissection process. Using a scalpel, make a shallow skin incision at a point superior to the frontalis. I am told to take a scalpel to your face, the very last thing left of your identity in this world. I am told to take a scalpel to your face, trapped between moments of guilt and fascination, I do as I am told. What am I doing? Continue the dissection. Use blunt dissection to define the superior border. Unravel the last thing left of your identity. Unravel the last thing left of my innocence. I do as I am told. Dissect and dissociate. On the cadaver, identify a buccal branch of the facial nerve crossing parallel. On the cadaver, dissociate from their body. Dissociate from your tears. Dissociate from your body. You exist no more. I see the nerves, the vessels, the bones, the tissues, all that is left of you in this world. What am I doing? In the anatomy lab, I enter the world of medicine. Gray's anatomy, and graying questions, learning, bumbling, falling, training, searching for life in the dead, Diagnosing the dead to heal the living, discovering my doctor hands. Continue the dissection. Using a probe, no. Pause the dissection. In the anatomy lab, you teach me with your patient's hands. Vulnerability, power, doctor, patience, ignorance, knowledge, all these instructions left unsaid. So forgive me as I held your hands without tenderness, only seeing the tendons that composited the machinery of your human body. Forgive me as I opened your heart, ignorant of all the love its chambers once held, only seeing the mechanics of birth you were once capable of. Forgive me but not knowing how to neatly take apart the gifts of your body. Forgive me but when I have failed to care for your body in the anatomy lab and thank you for allowing me to be with your body in the anatomy lab. Thank you for believing in me even before I entered the world of medicine. Thank you for seeing all the possibilities of what I could do. Thank you for placing yourself in these immature hands. You're to learn how to love the body and the body beyond. Thank you for trusting that one day, this uncertain first year medical students, hovering between guilt and fascination, trapped between dissociation and tears, may learn to hold life gently and tenderly. So that you survive. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> Say a little something, yes. Yeah. Well, okay. So I originally wrote this poem just in reflecting on this first class of med school. And it was rough. It was really rough. Um, but I have learned a lot through the process. And I think that being able to reflect on what it's been like to be in lab and being exposed to um, human bodies and doing all the dissections it's it's a very emotional experience um where it's not just intellectual but very emotional 
um, and I hope that as we as as like first year students like just being able to go through that that we will take the time to breathe um, to remember that we also are humans with emotions um, to be able to reflect on that process and learn to um, have grace for ourselves and for those that we're with. Um, so good luck to us for the rest of the academic year and so good luck to all incoming first year medical students.